instruction as we continue let us pray heavenly father we thank you for this another day you given to us thank you lord that we will continue in our devotional series on man's watchfulness as we continue on our 10th session lord give us understanding continue to anoint your servant make me your mouthpiece as I share your word Holy Spirit anoint me the those who are watching this video give them understanding and dig them and allow them Lord to learn more about Jesus this is my prayer in Jesus mighty name Amen now we are now in our end session entitled focus on Jesus Christ in our previous lesson lessons we learn that man's spirit need to be in union with the Spirit of God with the aspiration of our soul for God needing the body as living sacrifice sustained by the power of the Holy Spirit then in watchfulness we need to wait upon the Lord in his word act in the be the word of God testify the word of life Consecrate by the word of God, having humility to his word. Our theme verse is written from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 3, as saying, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great blood of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily tangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out to us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning and sin, and sat now at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sin, that he will not grow weary and lost heart. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. First, as we turn in Romans chapter 15, verse 5 to 7, as saying, May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus has so that with one mind and one voice you may glorify the Father and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ accept one another in them just as Christ accepted you in order to bring praise to God. Romans chapter 15, 27. Second, having the humility of Christ as written in Philippians chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, as saying, Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from His love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of service, ambition, or vain conceit, rather, in humility, value others above yourself. Not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of others. Philippians chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. Third, serving Christ, as written in Matthew chapter 20, verse 25 to 28, as saying, Jesus called them together and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you, instead, whoever wants to become great, among you must be your servants, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man does not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Matthew chapter 20, verse 25 to 28. So take note. As you read and meditate the scriptures, let us allow the Holy Spirit to minister to us and apply the eternal truth of focusing on Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus Christ to us, the author and finisher of our faith. Empower us, Holy Spirit, to lead, preach the gospel, and make disciples of all peoples, that many more like us will have the mind of Christ, his humility, and his servanthood. In Jesus' name, Amen. Have a blessed day. Keep safe in Jesus as we focus on him. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.
and to God be the glory.